Having recently left Depeche Mode, it's not only necessary for Clark to be able to program his sequencer to play the parts once played by other musicians. He also had to connect and configure his synthesizers and drum machines to play in perfect synchronization. Clark's recording system consisted of a Roland MC4 sequencer, an ARP2600 synthesizer, a Roland TR808 drum machine, a mixer and a multitrack recorder, plus one or both of the sequential circuits Pro 1 and a Jupiter, uh, Roland Jupiter 4 synthesizer. Whilst I don't have any of the same equipment as used by Clark, this film will outline how my reenactment will utilize an equivalent modern substitute for each device to create a comparable linear recording system of discrete synchronized devices. My recording system will comprise of the Renoise software sequencer running on a laptop computer, a Moog subsequent 37 synthesizer, an Arturia Drum Brute drum machine, and a second computer running Pro Tools as a multitrack recorder and mixer. Because the Roland MC4 had only four tracks, and because Clark was working alone, it was imperative that he was able to overdub additional tracks to build up more complex song arrangements. Whilst the MC4 could generate a synchronization pulse, for this overdubbing workflow to be possible, Clark had to make the tape machine the master device in his studio. He achieved this by recording the MC4's din sync pulse signal onto a spare track on the tape, which, when played back into the sequencer's input, control the start, stop and playback speed of the sequenced synthesizer parts. The drum machine in Clark's system could not be sequenced externally, meaning he must have programmed the song's rhythm pattern on the TR-808 and had it follow the din sync pulse from tape. To recreate this workflow, I have programmed the entire song into both the sequencer and the drum machine, which will receive MIDI beat clock from the Pro Tools computer. This is done using the Max Network MIDI device. Here you can see me creating a new network MIDI session on the second computer. And I give it the name Mac. Uh, and then I've done the same thing over here on the laptop. And you can see that we have a bi-directional connection as both laptop and Mac can see each other. And this works because the laptop is connected to an ad hoc network created on the other computer. The next task is to tell Pro Tools to generate MIDI beat clock using the network MIDI device we've just created. Like so. And then I go to the sequencer tell it to follow the incoming clock from the same network MIDI device. If this is correctly configured, I should be able to press play on Pro Tools and the sequencer should start playback. And it does, like so. MIDI Beat Clock is being used for this reenactment because it provides a good substitute for din sync with its simple start-stop signal and a steady clock pulse for speed in the form of a MIDI tick. As can be seen here, the sequencer has been programmed with an additional two measures before bar 1 beat 1 in order to give it a chance to reach the correct tempo. In fact, if I zoom in on the tempo here and start Pro Tools again, we should be able to see the tempo of the sequencer fluctuate and then settle down to 125 BPM as it reads the incoming clock. This of course would also have been necessary in clock system and was common practice when syncing from tape to record a good 10 second sync pulse before the music started. The sequencer in my reenactment sends MIDI directly to the Sub-37 synthesizer whose analog output is connected directly into the Pro Tools computer's audio interface. 
and just as with Clark's TR-808, my drum machine does not receive note data from the sequencer, rather its onboard sequencer has been used to program the entire song arrangement, therefore we must configure Pro Tools to send MIDI Beat Clock to it also. And the final thing to do is to tell the drum machine to follow the incoming clock signal, which it is receiving directly via USB. With the system connected and synchronized, I should now be able to press play on Pro Tools, my multi-track recorder, just as Clark would have done with his tape machine, and both my synthesizer and drum machine will play in time, sending their audio out back into the Pro Tools recorder.